Hello, and thank you so much for joining us on Investments Trends today, a program that has been brought to you courtesy of ZDA and ZNBC. Now, the role of governments in promoting economic growth and development cannot be overemphasized. Governments play a critical role of creating an enabling and conducive business environment and platforms for the private sector to interact, create synergies, and ultimately create wealth and jobs for their countries. It is against this background that the government of the Republic of Zambia and the European Union have partnered to host the first ever EU Zambia Economic Forum slated for the 18th and 19th of May 2022 here in Lusaka to enhance trade and investment between Zambia and the European Union and its member state. And so in studio, I'm joined with His Excellency Ayak Yankowski, who is uh, the EU ambassador to Zambia and Comesa. We also have uh, Mr. Albert Halwampa, ZDA Acting Director General. They are here to tell us more about this inaugural event. Thank you so much for your appearance today on Investment Trends. Let me start with you, Ambassador. Just kindly give us uh, a brief background on the EU Zambia Economic Forum. What is it? This is the first ever event in the history between Zambia and the European Union as such organized. Yeah? The EU, European Union Zambia Business Forum will be held on 18 and 19 of May 2022 here in Lusaka under all species of His Excellency President Hakainde Hichilema. And this is the uh, outcome of efforts of the government of Zambia, the European Union and the European Union member states. And the aim is to bring uh, business people from the European Union member states and Zambian people to work together uh, for the future development of relations between our uh, and future development of partnership between the European Union member states and Zambia. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me bring you in uh, DG. We know that this is the first ever event that uh, Zambia is hosting. Before we even look at who is eligible to participate, uh, let's talk about the importance of this uh, big event that Zambia is hosting and how ready are you in terms of hosting uh, this prestigious event? Thank you very much, uh, Venzu, and uh, happy Easter to everyone. This event, Venzu, is a very, very important event on the calendar of Zambia. Uh, you have heard from the, the President, uh, His Excellency Mr. Hagainde Hijilema, that is the Chief Investment Officer for this country, and he, he's been very, very clear, very focused. He's in a hurry to develop this country, and also in a hurry to create jobs for this country. Mind you, we are also in a hurry to attain the middle-income prosperous country status by 2030. So the EU Zambia economic forum, the first ever event between Zambia and the European Union of this nature, is a platform that is aimed at creating this pathway for the European companies to come and invest in Zambia. As you might have seen already, the investment environment, the business environment in Zambia has never been more conducive because the UPND government has been very clear and focused, and particularly the president, that now is the time to invest. Now is the time for the foreign investors to come into Zambia and set up and take advantage of the huge endowments, whether in agriculture, in mining, tourism, manufacturing. We want to partner with the European counterparts so that we develop this country, so that we create jobs, and create wealth together so that the position that Zambia is uh, positioned in the region, in the center, with eight neighboring countries, so a European country can come and invest in Zambia, set up in Zambia, and be able to export in the region, Comesa, Sadiq, the African continent of free trade area, even into Europe and other markets. So this economic forum is a high profile event that is actually going to take place next month as uh, his, um, his Excellency has already alluded to. So we are, we are upbeat as a, as a country and also the European Union. Okay, Ambassador, who is mm -hmm. expected to participate in this high-profile event? We are expecting that uh, this high-level 
event will be attended by, first of all, business people. Entrepreneurs are our main target from European Union member states and from Zambia, of course. Uh, innovators, uh, financial institutions, uh, representative, uh, high-level representative of government, of Zambian government, yeah, policy makers. In all, uh, all of these actors, if they work together, they can, uh, they can share ideas, they can exchange, they can compare notes, and they, they can really uh, bring added value to uh, relations between uh, both European Union and Zambia. Okay, um, just shed more light on the registration for those companies that would want to participate and they might be asking uh, any special companies that are required to be part of this event. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Benz. And just to pick it up from where the ambassadors left in terms of um, who is participating in this event, of course, uh, the business uh, community, the private sector, because what government and the European Union is doing is to create an environment, a platform, for the private sector from both uh, you know, uh, the EU and Zambia to meet. Of course, you are aware that Zambia is uh, the seventh you know, uh, producer of copper and cobalt in the world and also number two in Africa. But you know, a forum like this one, we are, we are looking at the theme. If you look at the theme, you know, economic transformation through green growth, we are saying we've been producing copper for a long time. We are now uh, focused on green growth in terms of reducing carbon emissions, you know, so that the copper we're producing now, we are saying let's feed into the green value chains like electric vehicle manufacturing, battery manufacturing. We've got the copper, we've got the manganese. We are also talking about renewable energy. So these are some of the areas where you know, the private sector from both the EU and Zambia will participate. How many companies have registered so far? Thank you so much, Vince, for that question. Yeah, registration started um, a week and a half ago. We have seen uh, companies registering from both Zambia and the, the EU. Uh, to date, we have so far 84 companies that have registered from both the EU and from Zambia. So we expect that going into this new week and uh, maybe end of April, somewhere there, we should be seeing a lot of traffic going into registration. We are very upbeat, we are very hopeful that this first ever economic forum will be the best of its kind. All right, Ambassador, uh, let's talk about the activities that are expected at um, the, A the EU Zambia Economic Forum. There will be a series of high-level presentations, discussion, mm -hmm. and, uh, but our aim target is, of course, to allow business people to contact. So uh, B2B, business to business, uh, and business to government meetings will be the most important part of the uh, our EU Zambia Economic Forum. Uh, why? Because we would like companies from the European Union member states and from Zambia to get together, to flourish and to grow together. Th uh, that's why, as I said, business to business and business to government po possibilities to exchange is the most important uh, uh, aspect of the forum. Of course, there will be a gala dinner at in the evening, So, but this is something to give more attraction to the forum, but the main focus is business to business and business to government uh, possibilities for them to exchange, to learn each other, uh, to have these people-to-people -people contact. This is our aim. After a years of two years, more than two years of uh, COVID-19 restrictions, it's finally high time to have physical meetings, f f meetings in person, not uh, using. Uh, VTC conferences. That's why we are very keen on organizing this event and bringing uh, European uh, Union investors to Zambia, to this beautiful country. As director said, it's a land-linked country which offers a lot of opportunities, not only for Zambia, but for the wider region and for the whole continent. Okay, um, did you even as hosts, I would also like you to just add on when you talk over these activities that have been lined up for, um, at this uh, very important economic forum and why it's important for Zambian companies to really participate. Yeah, thank you very much, Benz. Uh, the, the B2B meetings is already highlighted. I think it's, it's, the, it's the, the core of this uh, EU economic forum because at the end of the day, we want to know how many companies are going to partner with, uh, you know, with each other uh, from the EU and Zambia. How many companies are going to, 
you know, go into joint ventures, you know, between the EU and Zambian companies. We want to know how many, you know, companies from the EU may be interested in the copper value chains, maybe in the agriculture value chains, you know, maybe in the, the tourism or manufacturing value chains. So the B2B is the core of this uh, economic forum. And that's why in the website, I did emphasize, when you go in there, it will show you or ask you which sector is your interest lying. So the Zambian companies will be feeding into that um, you know, uh, kind of questions as to which sectors they belong to. Also, the European companies will be doing the same. So as secretariat, as organizing committee, what we'll be doing is to check which company from the EU is interested in agriculture and also the Zambian company. Then at the end of the day, we have made sure that these companies are brought together face to face so that they can begin to negotiate deals so that they can begin to talk to each other on how they can actually invest in Zambia. At the end of the day, as, as Zambia would like now to pick up those leads. You know, investment uh, forums or trade forums, is, it's more like you're planting a seed, okay? If you want to eat maize, you have to plant the seed today. Then in three months, you, you want to, to, to eat the maize, okay? So this economic forum, that's what it is. During the B2B okay. meetings, we'll now pick those leads. Some of them will announce deals there and then. Yeah, it happens. But the B2B is the critical mass. Of course, added to the B2Bs is the business to government. There will be companies from the European Union who would want to ask or find more details on the business environment. And we have made that provision so that sector ministries, whether agriculture, green economy, manufacturing, they should have slots where they will be able to give you now you know, answers in details to all the companies that will have questions. And a little bit of you know, domestic companies, what those may be coming out of uh, uh, Lusaka to ask and you know, ask more questions on the business environment. But we have made sure that um, the B to G is available to provide room for the sector ministries also to engage with companies from Europe so that we have you know, a, a very diversified way of engaging B to B and then B to G. That is the focus. And also, over and above, we want our European counterparts to enjoy this country. Beautiful country, beautiful people, friendly, those who would want to go to Victoria Falls afterwards or some national parks, well and good. But we want them to enjoy this country and realize this is the best destination for investment in Africa, if not in the world. The environment has never been this perfect. And the president has led the way, is clear, trade and investment chief investment office and we are we are walking his talk and that's why we're having this forum next month all right well in case you've just joined us this is investment trends a program brought to you courtesy of zda and znbc and today we are talking about the eu zambia economic forum scheduled for the 18th to 19th of may 2022 here in Lusaka at the Mulungushi International Conference Center. Okay, uh, Ambassador, taking you back to expected companies that mm -hmm. will be participating, is this only uh, limited to EU member states? In general, uh, it's a platform which everybody can register, yeah? So, of course, the name of the forum is the European Union Zambia Business Forum, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, now with the globalized world, of course, every company is free to, to be registered and to join the, the business forum. Yeah? We will not disqualify any, any company because it's not from Zambia or from <laughs> European Union member states. Yeah? So it goes without saying. Okay, thank you for that clarity, Ambassador. Uh, let me bring you in, DG. Uh, yes, we've talked of registration and people know where to register, but questions might be running to say, um, what are we supposed to do even as registered? Do they need to pay something or registration is free? Thank you so much, Vince. You know, this is a high level economic forum and we need to attach value to it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a self-financing economic forum. Of course, there will be some um, considerations here and there. So we'd like companies to pay something so there are two levels of payments. The large companies, we, we are very considerate, large companies will be required to pay 6,000 kwacha 
for participation. And you agree with me that for an economic forum of this high level, that is very, very generous, you know, a participation fee. And then the MSME, small medium enterprises, will be required to pay 1,500 kwach. Okay? Then further, we have also organized exhibitions. It's very important, you know, for the private sector, the high level government officials to appreciate what is already being done along the value chains that we are promoting. So, that being the case, we have said companies that would like to go an extra mile over and above just participating in the official opening, B2B meetings, B2G, they can exhibit at a fee of 10,000 kwacha. Again, Venzo, that's a very generous consideration. Uh, for the large companies, 10,000, and for the MSME, again, very considerate, 2,000 kwacha. So those are the values we are attaching to this forum so that it can self-finance. And also, over and above, we've opened a participation of the private sector to be part of this economic forum so that they can own it. So we've opened it up to those private sector companies who would like to sponsor such a high level forum. And I'm, I'm appealing to the private sector to jump on this opportunity before it runs out. We have said for a platinum sponsor, we, you are required to pay 400,000 kwach. If you are a gold sponsor, 250,000 kwach. If you are a silver sponsor, 100,000 kwach. If you are a bronze sponsor, 80,000 kwach. Again, Vince, that is generous. This economic forum is high level. First ever in Zambia, between Zambia and the European Union. By the way, European Union is GDP alone is $20 trillion. This is the level of you know, hype we are talking about, Zambia EU Economic Forum. So I'm encouraging the private sector, the companies to come on board. Let us make this happen. Let us make this happen. The environment is ripe. The chief investment officer is leading the way, and we are walking his talk. Mm -hmm. Trade and investment, very right. important. Very important <laughs> indeed. And uh, we are in the dying minutes of our program. Let me get your concluding remarks, and I'll start with you, Ambassador. Thank you very much for this opportunity. And uh, I always underline that we are natural partners, the European Union and Africa as such, as the whole continent. If you would like to do business in East, there is an additional price to be paid if you go far East. It's a jet lag. If you want to do business in the, into the West, if you go West, there is also additional price to be paid, jet lag. If you go from Africa, North, or from Europe, South to Africa, there is no jet lag because we are in the same time zone yeah so we are natural partners and there is no hidden agenda for us to organize this kind of economic forum together with Zambian partners there are many reasons to organize this business forum together with uh, Zambian partners first of all we are long-standing partners as we can call us all weather friends we European Union member states and the European Union have been here for many years and we share the same values internationally and at home like human rights issues like uh, good governance like democracy principles these are uh, values which are our common values and we share this international values secondly uh, last month we launched the uh, multi-annual uh, multi indicative program for Zambia for years 2021-2027. And this uh, program was created based on the almost one year consultations with Zambian stakeholders. We agreed together on the priorities of this program, yeah? how we, the European Union and its member states will be involved in Zambia. And the main priority areas are green alliances and partnerships for sustainable recovery, growth and jobs, supporting Zambian people to reach their potential and build resilience and create a free, inclusive and peaceful society here in Zambia. And only working together, we can reach these three main areas. The third, the third uh, impor important factor is, as the director has already mentioned, mm -hmm 
His Excellency President Hakainda Hichilema went in uh, February to Brussels to participate in the European Union African Union Summit. He did not limit himself only to sitting in the main conference hall and uh, follow the agenda. He had many bilateral meetings with uh, European leaders from European Union and from European Union member states. And his main priority, his main agenda is to restore, revive and repair Zambia's economy. And this economic forum supports his main idea, his uh, target as a president of Zambia. That's why please don't wait, register, be with us on 18 and 19 of May. Only working together, we can benefit, we can grow and flourish, we can uh, support Zambia, we can support European Union, yeah? because this is, uh, this is a highway which has two directions. It will bring profit to Zambian people and it will bring profit to European Union people. Yeah? All right. Be with us. Thank you very much. Okay. Digi, your remarks as we wrap it up. Thank you so much, uh, Renzo. Thank you so much, Ambassador, for that robust uh, conclusive remarks. Uh, my appeal is both to the European companies and also to the Zambian companies, the private sector from the EU, the private se sector from Zambia, that Zambia is ready for investment. Zambia is ready for trade and investment. This country is so blessed with so many resources, so many endowments. We can only create value if we work together. And I think that it's a privilege to team up with the European Union and Zambia to begin to generate those sustainable value chains to create jobs and wealth for the Zambian people. As the ambassador has said, as European companies invest in Zambia, create jobs, create wealth, create sustainable value chains, there will be a reciprocal two-way traffic. Some of these products will end up in the EU block itself. You know, some of these green value chains, in, in maybe copper cobalt, the, the agriculture sector itself, you know, the manufacturing sector, let us team up together let us build this beautiful country. Let us increase Zambia's GDP from 27 billion to almost 50 billion and further. This can only happen if we work together. The, Europea, the EU Zambia Economic Forum is such a platform happening next month, May 18 and 19th. Private sector from both the EU and the Zambia, let us make it happen. The environment is conducive, the people, the natural resources, let us take advantage. Please register, don't wait for the last minute. This EU Economic Forum is one of the best events of the year. Let us all participate and be part of it. All right. And I have been in Zambia for almost three years, okay. and I must admit, the most precious resource you have are your people. Well put, Ambassador. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time today on investment trends. A call has been made for you all to make sure that you register for the EU Zambia Economic Forum, which is slated for the 18th and 19th of May 2022. A very important platform for all the business people out there and it will be important that you are part of this high profile event and uh, be able to interact with other partners who come from across the globe so thank you so much for your time until next week as we continue to build up to this prestigious event we'll continue to talk about it on this platform and other platforms on your public service broadcaster from me Venzum Leamola it's goodbye keep watching ZNBC